Hello, my friends, and welcome to the finals of an Amonkhet competitive draft league where we get to be on the play, and that's usually going to be right. We've got our cyclers early, an Enigma Drake that we can't play yet, and all in all, a decent hand. All right, let's keep going with this. We can draw into red, and we don't have to do it immediately. Getting a turn 3 Enigma Drake <laughs> to do 1 damage isn't that impressive. But we get there. They are blue-black, they might just counter this, but we don't really know that that's what they're up to. Okay. And there's plenty more where that came from. So what's next? We could destroy their <laughs> swamp, but that's a little loose. What we really want to do is dig for this glory bringer. Reduce Cryptic Serpent. Yeah, we're just going to put all this nonsense in the graveyard. And Cryptic Serpent is fine. Perhaps better than fine. So that's two. Next turn we'll actually be able to play it. To smash through their poor Dune Beetle. We don't need to play it just yet, but we also don't need to to play these guys. And if they stumble once more on mana, we could think about pointing the um, violent impact at their swamp. But here we go. Let's let's get this guy out while well, they don't have any counter magic up. No more lands. They'll be miles away from from Archfiend of Ifnir if we kill that land. Ooh, I really want to. They might be incentivized to chump here, so I feel like attacking with both is fine. They could Gale Strike our dude. I wonder, if we Gale Strike our own guy... Oh, that's so good! Oh, that's so good, yeah. We're going to Gale Strike our own guy to counter their Gale Strike. <laughs> we draw another Cryptic Serpent. Ooh, boy. One, two, three. And then we could tap them out. Three, four, five, six. Or we could not tap them out and try to play several Cryptic Serpents next turn. <clears throat> well, it wouldn't really be that many <clears throat> Cryptic Serpents next turn, because we don't have the double blue. Oh, looks like there was a problem with um, audio for a bit. I hope that <laughs> wasn't too long. You know, voice over that or something, but... Okay. 
yeah, I was saying we need to draw any land, and we get two cryptic serpents here. So let's do that. And they're definitely taking some damage here. Archfiend of Ifnir wouldn't win it for them. I mean, they have to tap out for it. Oh, this match has been so sweet. I hope uh, I hope the <laughs> the voice wasn't gone for the whole thing. All right, let's see. So they can kind of chump two of our guys and take eight. And by chump, I mean actually kill two of our guys. Well, let's go ahead and play New Perspectives. That could draw us into a Magma Spray, which would win it for us presently. And yeah, I don't mind attacking one one of our Serpents into this Scorpion. And they take 12? That's so much. Do we censor something here? Yeah, get wrecked. Sensor's so good. Especially against these mana screwed three color opponents. Oh no, cut to ribbons. One, two, three, four, five. They can take out one of our cryptic serpents too. All right, we should be able to protect this Enigma Drake with some counter magic backup. One, two, three, four. They can't even team up to kill our Cryptic Serpent, so this is a nice safe attack. They just jump. And they have not nearly enough mana to finish us off with ribbons. Here's the Evolving Wilds. Final reward. That's a pretty good one, but it does it does fold to cancel. And on to sideboarding. That one mana cycler in your hand is not enough. Okay, so what did we see? Did we see anything to change our mind about what's good? Not really. We don't want to... I mean, getting rid of that uh, trial thing is not so important with Forsake the Worldly. We have other good answers to it, Winds of Rebuke. They might also have cards like Drakehaven and Archfiend, but we did win the first game, so if we come across that we can decide whether or not we need to change our deck for game three assuming we come across it and lose to it. So this is a, a special Amonkhet draft if we do win. This will be my 22nd trophy and that's just that's just my favorite number. Goodness, that number's everywhere. So on Twitch, that's my handle, Sabbath22, and Twitter and so forth. So if you're interested in catching a stream sometime, I'd be glad to have you. Oh man, we're under fire early. I'm going to save this Windsor Rebuke and we can just cycle the Violent Impact. Secret of Insight, the thing is, since they have that trial, If they try to cartouche up one of their creatures, it'll be better to, to save our Windsor Rebuke. And they could just go for the trial right now. Or, not the trial, but the uh, cartouche if they have one. Meanwhile, getting hit for one a turn doesn't concern me too much. Well, all right, all that said, 
that even initiate's going to hurt for a while. We mill a scorpion and a couple more good cards for ourselves. See if Naga Oracle can find us a mountain. Whoops. It's clicking all over the place. It does not. Let's just bin it all. I hate all of those cards. All right. The Enigma Drake might have been okay to keep. I mean, it does block Avon Initiate. But that's what we really wanted. Quick, while they can't essence scatter it. That'll take down the initiate for a while. How much does this Cryptic Serpent cost? We've got four, we've got five in the grave, so this is a two mana, six five. Kind of the dream. Uh oh. <laughs> Once they kill our Naga Oracle and they play Riches, they're going to steal our Glory Bringer. That's scary. And they're just trying to race us here. Good luck. Good luck, opponent. Shall we mill them some more? No, let's just cycle. Hey, that's a good one. Some more bufferage between Riches and uh, Glory Bringer. Although it's unclear that Glory Bringer is better than this Enigma Drake at this point. I guess it trumps it by killing it. Ah, oh, they're just going to exile it. Rude. They're so dead. I, I have to believe that they are out of this game. Interesting. Can we play both? We probably just play new perspectives. And... And nothing, and then we just attack, I guess. And they chump. That can't be good for them. That can't be a good sign. So they get one chance to resolve something really amazing. But if they fail to do that, we're going to have all kinds of tricks up our sleeve. That was pretty good. That's a pretty good one. We can dig for an answer to it. But even an answer to it doesn't necessarily do what we need it to do. Well, whatever. Tormenting Voice, we can discard Stinging Shot. We might need the land here. This gets in an easy two damage, assuming they team up on the Cryptic Serpent. And we'll take down the Drake. So, what is our best bet? Cast two amazing creatures? Looks good to me. Two eight fours for three? That's even better than our six five for two. So if they steal a creature, we're definitely giving them Naga Oracle. It's our choice. Wow, they really they really got us. They couldn't have done all that to a cryptic serpent, and we knew about cut, so it might have been the wrong play here. It'll be a real shame if they kill the Oracle and then steal our Cryptic Serpent, but we do have the Winds of Rebuke backup and Counter Magic backup now. So here we go. They're, they're really holding on with all of their sweet rares. 
this is a this is a rare rags to riches. Oh wow. That Warfire Javelinier, is there anything we can do about it? Can't cancel it. They'll do 700 damage to the Cryptic Serpent. That's a lot of damage to a Cryptic Serpent. Yeah, it's six damage to it. We could get it back and play it again. And we can still counter their next play. I think that's better than letting it go. Or... Maybe we get back new perspectives. Although we're running out of amazing creatures to find. Did they already deal with Glorybringer? Yeah, we should probably get it back. At the risk of milling ourselves. Come on, play something else. No. We did find one reduced to rubble. And they're going to Essence Scatter this, which they can't. Well, they, they can try, but we can counter that, and then keep six of their lands tapped. Might not be necessary to keep six tapped. We can keep three tapped each turn. What do they have going in their graveyard? This is where things get really interesting. Rags to Riches to steal our Naga Oracle. Three, four, five. They won't have enough to do that for two turns. And then they have ribbons. Opponent loses X life. That also doesn't affect us. So what we can do is make sure they can't cast a red spell. Might as well play a land here too. And we have two turns without riches. Gale Strike. Um, I wonder if that does anything for us. Not necessarily. We could always Gale Strike our own Oracle. But yeah, let's just keep them off the mana here one more time. Oh, especially. It doesn't target, that's one problem. So if they get that extra land, they can do riches. Yeah, they have it. Super awkward. It does give them, all it really does is it gives them another turn. Or they could do seven damage to us here. But I think they're going to steal the Oracle. That's the only, the only way they get out of this. So what's it going to be? And if we Gale Strike our Oracle, then we just give them the Serpent. So that's not ideal. Oh. We can just take our own oracle back. Really makes you think. Okay. <laughs> We're drawing pretty low, but I think that's all gonna work out. We probably want to keep all of this stuff. So we say okay here. And then put electrify on top. Alright. Three lethal creatures, and you can do eight damage to us with the uh, ribbons. 
How many lands am I playing? It's a good question. How many lands am I playing? Here's the deck. Looks like 16. Might as well might as well tell them, right? They could always watch. 16, which you would know if you watched my video after the fact. Are they surprised we've just drawn so many spells compared to that? We've drawn well. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, shoot, <laughs> I didn't count, but 5, 11, 12, 4. So our bottom four cards are lands. Yeah, been some sick games here. Thanks for watching. This is a kind of atypical deck, but if you end up getting the three Enigma Drakes and three Cryptic Serpents, just uh, make sure you get enough spells in your graveyard. And it turns out that off-color cyclers can be a, an answer for that.